ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर डूइंग सम वी आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग बेसिकली मॉडल्स ऑफ सम रियल लाइफ ओके एंड देन वी मॉडल इट मैथमेटिकली एंड देन सॉल्व बाय द यूजिंग ऑफ टेक्निक्स वी हैव स्टडीड बिफोर एंड देन वी अप्लाई दिस टेक्निक्स एंड सॉल्व दिस एंड गेट द सोल्यूशन एंड देन वी अप्लाई द सोल्यूशन इन द रियल लाइफ जस्ट एज वी हैव डन द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बिफोर और न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स बिफोर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ वी आर डीलिंग विद सम वी हैव एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सम फर्स्ट ऑर्डर लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेजन एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू that um if you have first order linear differential equation that means it has derivative one uh, it has first order derivative or um the derivative has the order or power 1 okay um basically first derivative so um check that if it is separable then separate and integrate it if it is not then if it can be written in this standard form dy by dx plus p of x into y equals to f of x then this is first order linear differential equation in the standard form and how we solve this type of equations we have studied in the previous lecture and that is to, uh, by the help uh, with the help of um integrating factor so how integrating factor is taken with the uh, selected with this integrating factor is e to the power integral of p of x into dx and what we uh, do further uh, we multiply the integrating factor with this equation and the equation uh, left hand side of the equation eventually becomes um, expanded form of product rule so what what we do Uh, in the next step we uh, transfer or transform the expanded form into compact form and then we get the solution of that first order linear differential equation so this is the basic um way of finding uh, the solution of the first order linear differential equation okay today we are dealing with some real life problems and um the real life problems um uh, that has first order linear differential equation is basically uh, the problems that contains some kind of uh, uh, linear growth or linear decay okay the standard form of the uh, the standard equation for these type of problems is uh, or we can say initial value problem the initial value problem of these type of equations is i am writing ivp that is dx by dt some amount uh, or quantity uh, changing with respect to time that is directly proportional to x quantity so that means that how with respect to time with the passage of time how much quantity or amount is growing or how um, how much quantity or amount is decreasing with time and it contains the initial condition so subject to that is subject to x of t not t not is the initial value it can be a zero it can be any value any time right equals to x not x not is the amount that is initially present so that is the uh, linear model for first order differential equation and we can we are converting that is basically uh, proportionality and uh, whenever we convert the proportionality into an equation then it becomes partial x equals to k into x and we are writing like this so what is k k is constant of proportionality so for growth and decay we have this model right now to solve this type of model um how to solve this type of problem okay um, in growth i am uh, telling you the example of basically growth so it can be a population growth with respect to time um how population grows and uh, that is um, basically to predict that uh, within the coming years uh, how population is growing and also the bacteria growth bacterial growth um how much bacteria is growing with respect to time 
or also uh, the cells in a tumor if you have a disease then or or god forbid or uh, some kind of tumor then how cells are multiplied so that is growth with respect to time or also the neutrons in the nuclear reactor so that contains the growth and decay uh, problems are radioactive decay how the radioactive element decreases disintegrated with respect to time okay to solve this type of problem we um, this is a simple kind of model so um, we are um, finding the solution of this problem so dx by dt what technique i am using here it is separable it is not like this it is separable so i am separating it by cross multiplying it and that becomes 1 by x dx equals to k into dt right so to obtain the solution in the growth or decay we use this solution technique what we are doing in the next step we are integrating on both sides so k is a constant integration if operator integral operator does not affect on this okay integration so 1 by x has the integral natural log of x and k into 1 dot dt is t and we are adding constant of integration it's it's not a partial derivative it's a ordinary derivative so we are uh, adding the arbitrary constant to it okay i want to finish i want to eliminate this natural log so what i have to do i have to apply uh, exponential on both sides on both sides so e to the power uh, whatever we writing after exponential it uh, converts it into power equals to e k into t plus c so uh, keep in mind the basic properties of exponentials so natural log and key na uh, uh, e uh, sorry natural log and e uh, are basically um, inverses of each other or we can say that uh, the base of natural log is e natural log of e equals to 1 or e to the power natural log of 1 equals to 1 so um, it cancels it cancels each other and it becomes x okay and here we are using the uh, property of exponential powers are added so it can be written as e to the power k into t multiplied by e to the power c okay now you can see that e is also a constant 2.718 it has the value and c is also a constant if it is used in the example then if it is uh, it is definitely a constant so i am writing it c1 e to the power c let c1 equals to e to the power c both are constants so i am writing only one constant so this is the final solution of any model of growth or decay and also uh, c1 should not be equal to zero right so this is the solution for um, growth or decay first order linear model in the next video we are doing the example of radioactive decay.